All right, everybody, back again real quick to uh, show you how to do Watt's Law and an easy way to remember that as well. Um, it's pretty similar to my last video. It's really not that, the equation's really not that different. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get to it. All right, uh, this is going to be the easiest way to remember Watt's Law, which is very similar to Ohm's Law, which if you remember... I showed you that little power triangle, <clears throat> and this is going to be essentially the same thing, except this is Watt's Law. Uh, another way to look at that <clears throat> is P equals I times V, whereas P is your power, also known as watts. Um, so to get that, you're going to multiply your current times your voltage. Um, obviously, I equals current, if you weren't here last time. Uh, v equals volts. Um, so I'll explain it again in case you weren't here for my last video. Um, so to memorize this and really use this equation effectively, so say you want to find power, you can just cover the P and if you have two letters next to each other, in this case, current and voltage, you would just multiply those together. So P is going to equal I times V. Um, if you're looking for current here, you can do the same thing. And because one is above the other, you know that it's P divided by V equals your current. Uh, if you want to find V, then you know it's your power divided by your current. And sorry, to find current is power divided by voltage. And I'm not sure if I messed that up when I said it. Um, so Watt's Law, you're gonna be running into all the time. Ohm's Law and Watt's Law um, are basically the foundation of electrical work. Um, this is really simplified versions. Um, there are also other equations that you're gonna need to know to sometimes find your current and voltage and power. Um, but this is the first steps to doing that is to remember these equations because you're gonna be using them all the time. Um, in my other videos, you know, we'll get into capacitors and inductors and how those work and everything. Um, so this is the simplest form when you're working with strictly resistors. And that's how you're gonna see them in a wiring diagram. <clears throat> is these kind of jagged edges here. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, I guess that's really it for Watt's Law. Um, it's really simple stuff here. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to remember this. And that's really all you gotta do. And my next video, we'll get into some more complicated stuff.